of the long-awaited Panasonic Lumix GH6 has arrived. Here's what's new. The GH6 can shoot 4K video up to 120 frames per second in 10-bit, unlimited recording time. And it can shoot full HD up to 300 frames per second, also in 10-bit, also unlimited recording time. It'll shoot Cinema 4K up to 60p at 422 10-bit all intra unlimited. And it can shoot Apple ProRes 422 and 422HQ at 5.7K internally, also unlimited recording time. Thermal management is assisted by an active cooling fan, just like on the full-frame Lumix S1H. And all formats in MOV mode are 10-bit. The GH6 can shoot in a 4-3 aspect ratio at 5.8K. That's full sensor readout, ideal for anamorphic or open gate shooting. Full V-Log is included, which when combined with dynamic range boost, provides cleaner shadows and over 13 stops of dynamic range. The 7.5 stops of image stabilization provide a near gimbal-like experience for handheld video, and for still photography, enables longer handheld exposures than ever before. The GH6 can internally record up to four channels of audio at 96 kHz 24-bit when combining the XLR1 and the 3.5mm microphone port. There's even a new dedicated audio button to access the new audio menu. While we're talking physical buttons, the GH6 has dual record buttons on the top and front of the body, plus tally lights on the front and back of the camera. It provides timecode in and out via the PC port and the included timecode adapter, and has an anti-rotation tripod pin for video tripod mounts. The USB-C 3.2 port can be used for charging, power delivery from an external battery, and camera control with the Lumix Tether app over USB. The tilt and free angle LCD, just like on the S1H, provides not only versatile positioning, but the LCD panel swings clear of the side ports. The GH6 provides dual memory card slots, one SD UHS-2 slot, and one CF Express Type B slot to capture that 1.9 gigabit ProRes 422HQ footage, which when combined with a Thunderbolt reader, provides incredibly fast file copies to your computer. There's a new Cine-style file naming format, customizable for your shoot. LUTs can now be loaded in both VLT and Cube formats and can have long file names and the GH6 can enlarge the focus area for accurate manual focus while recording. The GH6 has the best autofocus seen in a Lumix camera. Yes, it's still DFD, but it keeps getting better. We go from this to this. And then back over here to this, and let's see what we've got. The GH6 has the highest resolution sensor ever in a Micro Four Thirds camera at 25.2 megapixels which, when used in high-resolution mode, can create 100-megapixel still photos. It shoots up to 132 thousandths of a second shutter speed and can capture up to 75 frames per second raw. Finally, coming in a firmware update, internal ProRes at DCI 4K and Full HD, in addition to the 5.7K available at launch, recording to SSD drives over USB, 4K 120p HDMI out, and up to 4K 120p raw video data output over HDMI. I'm Photo Joseph, a Lumix ambassador. If you want to talk about this new camera, join me and my friends in my channel member Discord by visiting youtube.com slash photojoseph slash join and visit gh6training.com to learn about the upcoming training course that I'm filming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more GH6 videos and see you next time.